Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Farming Simulator 15 map spotlight. We are here on Lincoln Lodge Farm, which is based in... I believe it's a fictional farm in Lincolnshire. Which makes the log cabin seem a bit weird. Um, you do start out with a pickup, just because this is my normal pickup colour. So let's have a look around. Uh, it is... Quite a bizarrely shaped farm. <laughs> Unusual, I would admit. Uh, loads of forestry by the looks of it. Can I use course play? Oh, amazing! <laughs> I've, just <laughs> I've just discovered this. So, your house is here. There are 58 fields. Yes, 58 fields. Various sizes. Uh, unfortunately, you start out with all but four. And I'm not sure why he decided to start out with all but four. I'm guessing he meant to just, him, the intention was to start you out with four. Sorry, six. Um, that's a bit of an odd one, I will admit. So let's have a look around the farm, or the map then. If I can get out the gate. That was me being stupid. So, much like with ma um, mod spotlights, I will be using mouse and keyboard for this. Now, this is based on Bjorn Uh So, some of these icons may be in odd positions and may be wrong. Uh, and I know it's based on Bjorn Home because, well, I got the map tour thing at the start. Uh, yeah, there's no tip point here that is gonna say it's a, an error with the map. Um, and I have heard that you can put straw in with the sheep but not the cows. So the, the, ooh, I like this. I like the walls being around the fields. It's different to having just hedges. And it looks like you can drive up here. So let's have a look and see. Number one, is this hedge drive throughable? Yes it is. So if you're stuck you can go hedge to wall and do it like that. What's up this lane like? So look at the map and see if there's... Oh, it's just more fields. So, tons of fields. You're never going to run short on fields. Um, if you do, you've clearly got equipment that's far too big. Uh, most of the fields are small to medium in size, as the map author claims. I would tend to agree. Field 40 is one of the bigger ones on the map, I believe. Yes, so field 40 is one of the bigger ones. That is field 40 right there. And yes, it is a small to medium field. I would class that as a... Mm, yeah, that's a medium sized field. So there is something up here. Let's have a l How do I get up to it? It must be up by... Ah, up through here. So, a lot of the fields here are grass. Quite a few of them anyway. Field 43, one of the larger fields again. Uh, that's a medium field as well. Uh, so you, you won't be stuck for, for grass anytime soon. There's a silage clamp here for no particular reason. Um, is this just storage or is there a particular reason for it? It's just storage. So silage clamp and some vehicle storage there. <coughs> More forestry down there. The, this is a very forestry heavy, uh, forestry heavy map by the looks of it, uh, and as I said, it is based up your home. I think I'm gonna. I think you need map uh, animation trigger for this map, which I do not have. So yeah, uh, my bad. These are presumably map animation triggers. I forgot to download it. So uh, unfortunately, FSUK doesn't say you need map animation trigger, so that's why I don't have it. So yeah, that's an issue. Uh, that partially I've caused myself, I guess. One thing I would like to see from the map animation trigger, guys, is the uh, gates are open by default. Oh, maybe you don't need map animation trigger. And the gates are very small. So there is a fuel point here. And what is this? That's the biomass heating plant. The shop is over. Oops. 
over here behind the biomass heating plant. And, and, you know, I'm really liking this map so far. Um, it's a good map if you want to go super heavy in forestry and haulage, by the looks of it. So the shop's here. Nice big courtyard in the shop. I'm not going to test how much you can buy. Let's see. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the map for absolutely everything. So let's head over to where all the rest of the sell points are. It is a haulage heavy map, so I'm presuming that the farm itself is somewhere in this area. Um, by the sp spinnery, possibly. Um, not sure if the cows are where they claim to be. So it looks like to get over to the rest of the sell points, I'll have to go through this forest. Um, you may have noticed, and if you haven't, why didn't you? There is no traffic on this map. That it's it's slightly disappointing. Um, I always prefer maps that have traffic just because it gives them a sense of realism and, and helps with the immersion, especially in single player. Uh, I know in multiplayer there is no traffic at all anyway, so it's not really an issue there. But it's something that I'd like to see. Oh, I want to see if you can knock these over. Yes! <laughs> okay, that was just me having a bit of fun. <laughs> so, looks like Field 52 is both of these fields. What? Field 52 apparently has a road running through it, <laughs> but it doesn't. So, where are we now? This is the shipping office, I think. Uh, possibly the shipping office. All the sail points here are so clustered that the, the um, names of them are clipping over each other. This over here is freight yard and then you've got a second shipping office which I think is supposed to be the mill um, does look like you can send the train away ah, yes you can send the train away and over there is the biogas plant with one two three four silos for silage again big courtyard here so you can store some of your equipment here and what on earth can you, like, properly drive down this thing? I'm running the risk of losing the pickup here, but... Whoa! Um... There's an invisible water plane right here, so... <laughs> that explains why I'm currently floating. And why the bottom of this is stained dark blue. Um, so here's the mill for all of your the the, the, the wood mill place for all of your um, wood selling needs. There is a second sell point over here. Where you can load the wood onto the train, and presumably, yep, the normal sell point for wood over here is there. Just gonna send off the train for the fun of it. Where does this train go? Speeds up rather nicely. <laughs> um, that train looks like it heads down the length of the map. Now I'm just interested in seeing what happens to the train here because I'm not sure if giants have like a hard limit on how far the train can go or, or what goes on here. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what happens. Now, fortunately, the pickup is actually faster than the train, so I can I can trail it quite nicely. Not sure if this fence has collisions, but I'm not going to run the risk. So the tr the train goes through the forest. There's a second disused line. Here. Oh, that's nice. Not sure if that's meant to be there, but it does give the impression of a disused rail line that runs parallel to this one. Um, train goes over bridge. Continues on. This oh, it is supposed to be a disused rail line. That's parallel. That's beautiful. Goes along here. Under. Oh my God! This is this is unnecessary detail in the map. I've got to admit because 
I haven't seen a map so far that has a, a train that goes this distance. Ever. I mean, it goes under a bridge here, under another bridge over there. It's already gone over a bridge. It goes on over one bridge, under two. So, I mean, if you drive quick enough, or you've got, you've got something going on over here, you can actually find the train after you've sent it off with wood. And that goes off into the tunnel off over here. Now, I've got to check because the previous map had this issue. Yep, you cannot drive through the walls, and they are visible. Well, actually, the invisible wall is hidden slightly behind it, but that's that's perfectly fine. And the train does, in fact, drive the length of the map. That's a really nice bit of, bit of detail that um, I haven't seen in any other maps. So there are forestry roads and nice little clearings so you can pile wood up in the forests. Um, it is, unfortunately, very easy to get lost, as I'm quickly discovering. It looks like you've got some sort of farmyard over here. Let's have a look. Is this... What is this for? You can... Ah! You can buy saplings here. Yes. You can buy saplings here, which is... Whoa. Really nice, because... Well, you're in the middle of the forest. It makes it actually makes sense in context of the map um, that you can buy saplings here. As I guess the cows aren't where they say they are. Um, no idea where they are. So let's have a look around at what you start off with because I've already covered all of the oops, all of the cell points. Let's have a look around at where you start off. Obviously, you spawn beside this at your house on the map. So the main farm is actually over here by the looks of it, uh, by fields 1 and 2, which I should have guessed. you got the multi-silo, and it looks like the animals might be here as a 1. Is this a silo? No. Two silage bunkers. The cows are in fact over here, as you can tell by the manure silo being here. Or the manure bunker. So the cows presumably spawn in over here, you can feed them and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, sheep are... I'm guessing the sheep are over here. Yep. So, ah, that's why you can give the sheep hay, or straw. <laughs> the sheep are given, you can give the sheep straw because they actually are in the uh, NI modding cow shed. So this is just using the default Bjorn home cow shed with the lovely little bridge behind it and oh, a little babbling brook that has an invisible water plane again. That's a weird. So, let's have a look at what you start off with. So, in terms of tabbing, you start off with Sample Rose and Lou, C6 with the correct header. At least two Herleman Turbo 90H488. At least one Deutzfeier Agrostar 661, which is rather dirty and already has the obligatory Vitasem attached. The second Herleman. A man truck, MAN, if you are so inclined. A Leap Hair 436 7 with shovel, log fork, and pallet fork attachments. Ursus with a sprayer and the front spray tank. Just checking if there's anything not attached to it. Uh, the, uh, ooh! I haven't seen this being given out on farms yet. So this is a new one for me, um, which I haven't played with. Herleman XF130T4I V-Drive. This is the newer uh, style Herleman. And that is attached to a Kuden Profile, or Profile 1880. I'm going to hop back in to tab it over to the Case IH160CVX Puma. With a Kuhn Front Mower and the Pottinger Eurobus. You also get a T8 for some reason. The 1600 kilo weight and a Case IH Magnum 
380 CBT uh, for whatever reason. Now there are other pieces of equipment dotted around, so let's go into the garage and have a look. So you get two Harleyman H488s, one Agrostar, one Arsis, one XM130 T4i, one Puma, one T8, one Magnum, one MN truck, one Sample Rosenlu, one Sample Rosenlu C6 14 foot header, a <laughs> <laughs> a Brantner trailer that will only ever empty the Sampo Rosenlu. <laughs> the giant crampy trailer for when you want to sell, I'm guessing, when you want to sell your crops. A Vogel New Teradisc 600 for cultivating. An Amazon k 200 for plowing. The obligatory Vitasem, of course. A Kuhn F FC3525 front mower. Pottinger Euroboss, the Kuhn Primor 3570 for round bale destruction. And um, straw blowing, of course. The Kuhn Profile 1880 for your mixed ration needs. Amazon FT1001 and UF1801 for all your spraying needs. A Marshall ST1800 manure spreader. The Garant T TSA 30000 and FRC for... Yeah, this is manure. That's actually a really cool idea. As, like, starter equipment. Except you don't start off with any cows, so this is a bit pointless. But, um... Yeah, when you're going really, really heavy on um, slurry, you actually move the FRC field container to your field. You can have a full or empty, whichever you wish. And actually fill it up with the TSA 30,000. Empty it with the... Whoops. Empty it with the Marshall and spread your slurry. And then just go back to the FRC. And, um... Refill it while the TSA 30,000 presumably is on course play or something. To refill the FRC. That's a really nice idea. I approve of that. You get one 1600 kilo weight. The pickup, the Liebherr 4367. Let's have a look at what attachments you get. You get the universal bucket, the pallet fork, the bale spike, the log fork, and the manure fork, and the wrap bale handler. So you pretty much get all of the attachments for the leaper, and you also get the low loader trailer. Now one thing that I've noticed is missing is... I, I, because um, I'm trying to say, say this in a nice way. There's a lot of end game style equipment like the man truck, like the Kramp SB3060. Um, the low low road encounters end game equipment you can throw a dolly under it. But these two are definitely end game equipment. I mean, you, you won't have enough manure to be using these for a while. Quite a while. Um, again, T8 Magnum, bit overkill. The 160 I can understand. The Hurleyman is just nice. These, you know, the tractors are fine for the most part. These two are a bit big. Um, I don't understand why you'd give the player a 6 meter cultivator, but only a 3 meter seeder. That seems a bit silly. I would argue start off with either all small equipment or all 6 meter equipment. Um, the sprayer I'm fine with. Personally, I I start I like starting off with the fifteen oh one fertilizer sprayer and then maybe moving up to the sprayer if I so wish or uh, moving across to the bigger fertilizer spreader. Um, of course, if you want to put soil mud on the map, you will have to get the fifteen oh one anyway or the uh, ZGB eighty two hundred, which you can finance by getting rid of some of the equipment. Um, chainsaws, I th believe you can actually start the player off with chainsaws. Um, so that's something that I would argue would be a necessity on a, a map this this forestry heavy looking. Um, the same I would give, and these are just things that I would do if I I had made this map. Um, I would argue maybe the stump cutter might be a good idea, and almost definitely the stepper trailer because if you look at the map itself, a good. 40 to 50% of it is forestry 
I would argue that you should be starting off with some forestry equipment like the FSI SC65, like the Step FHL 13AK, maybe the Timber Runner if you know because you've got the man truck, the Timber Runner might be a good alternative to the, the Steppa. Especially seeing as you got the Leaper, maybe the the Yens wood chipper. I don't know. That's kind of end gamey as well. Um, IT runner wood container. That's just. That's DLC, I wouldn't count that. The Buffalo and the Scorpion King, I would argue, are borderline fitting for this map as starter equipment. And it's a rare one that I'll say it. Because the, these are in-game equipment. I'm not going to deny it. I would argue they're borderline starter equipment for this map because of how forestry heavy it is. I mean, just this is a big forestry area. This is a massive forestry area that takes up almost half the map. This is another big forestry area here. There's a smaller one over here. And you're going to be doing so much um, transport of wood that I would argue the buffalo, just to get the wood to some, you know, to one of the clearings, like I need to be in a vehicle. Like the one over here. Like it looks like there's one up here as well. There's one here. One over here. I would argue that the um, Scorpion King and Buffalo are actually worth having on this map. And almost a starter equipment. However, I think I like the challenge, well, I like the idea, the ideas that are being shown here. And the ideas that are being shown, in my opinion, are, well, you start off with a lot of fields. That's great. But the fields and the farming are actually the less profitable option on this map so what you want to, what you'll be wanting to do I would argue and this is what I would do is I would start off with the sample and the Brantner and pretty much course play a tractor to run the Brantner I'd probably do the harvesting myself because I like doing the harvesting um, and I'd farm and farm and farm and farm and farm and work my way up with mods of course because I always use mods work my way up to being able to get the scorpion king and being able to get the buffalo and being able to get the the big forestry trailer and uh, prob I'd probably get the New Holland front uh, the New Holland wheel loader, the JCB wheel loader just because they're nice and I'd then start focusing on well most of the map is forest and forestry gets you a lot of money so then I'd move on to you know getting forestry equipment and going really really heavily into forestry and building up money and building up money and building up money and then getting just massive farming equipment so that you can go back to the farming and work the forestry at the same time so this map has some really nice ideas and re just give you know if i can get those ideas looking at the map for 20 minutes because this is the first time i loaded it up but it's a good map if it gives you these kind of ideas so I think I'm going to leave it here. This is a really good map. I would advise you get it. Um, there are some issues with with it. Like the PDA map is a bit wrong. Um, my advice to the map author would be to uh, try and fix the PDA map. Uh, I've seen on FSUK that because uh, I have been in the support topic the sheep will accept straw, but the cows won't. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. Uh, the ground texture clips through the BGA. Um, that is a minor issue, but you know it's something that could easily be fixed. Uh, other than that, it's a really good map, and I, it's definitely worth trying at the very least. Um, well, actually, one other piece of equipment that I think should be given to the player is... I will bring it up very quickly, is the... Pottering Mix 5. Because, if I bring up this screen over... Oops. This screen. Look at how much corn is on the map, and there's no... <laughs> is there... Oh, no, it's just blank bit over here. Look at the amount of corn on the map, there's no way the player can 
Yeah, there's no way to harvest at the moment. Either get the, give the player the next five or the the, the 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 small corn header for the sample, and we can work our way up to getting the big X. I got, I guess, or the new Holland forage harvester. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, stay safe and goodbye.